I want to welcome you all to our second panel of the day, New Approaches to Non-State Armed Actors. If everybody could please take their seats. We're very fortunate to have a terrific group of panelists today who will be introduced by our moderator, Roger Hardy. For those of you who, like me, grew up listening to the BBC, Roger Hardy will be a very familiar voice. He spent over 20 years with the BBC as a Middle East and Islamic affairs analyst covering every corner of the region. His experiences led to the book Muslim Revolt, a journey through political Islam published earlier this year. He is currently a scholar at the Woodrow Wilson Center, and uh, I don't want to sound like a propagandist for our panelists, but we are selling his book and the books of all of our other panelists out in the hallway. Uh, now I hand it over to you, Roger. Thank you, Kate. Um, you must be used to it by now. We all come up here and blink. You know, when you're sitting down there, you don't get a sense of the very strong lights up there. So we're not bats, we're not crazy. Uh, at least I don't think we are. Um, it's great to be here. Um, the theme of this panel um, is new approaches to non-state armed actors. I'm a journalist, I'm in the simplification business. What are we talking about, non-armed state actors? Well, you can call them uh, militants, as we do at the BBC, we get attacked. I say we, I'm, I'm no longer part of the BBC, but we is in my bloodstream. We get attacked for calling them militants, but what should we call these different groups, insurgents, terrorists, um, or what? Uh, we have a very distinguished panel to look at this issue uh, of who are these guys, should we talk to them, and also the issue of the issues surrounding radicalization and de-radicalization. Um, you will have noticed it's one of the more um, multicultural, multinational panels. So you have a Brit, um, that's me in case you haven't quite figured it out yet, uh, moderating, if that's the right word, two Americans, a German and an Australian. The Australian is our first speaker. We'll stick to the order on, on your program. David Kilcullen is a specialist in counterinsurgency. Okay. Um, I'll give you the sequence in, in a moment. Um, I'll continue with David Kilcullen, who will be our second speaker. Uh, <laughs> David is a specialist in counterinsurgency, is the author of several books, but one you may have heard, across, heard of and you may have read is The Accidental Guerrilla, Fighting Small Wars in the Midst of a Big One, which was published last year. He has at various times advised the, okay, advised the governments of the United States, Britain, and Australia, and he's currently a senior fellow at the Center for a New American Security. I'll give you the order now, and I'll give the panelists the order so that they too know the order in which they're going to speak. Uh, we're going to kick off with Mitchell Reese, then go to David Kilcullen, then to Robert Malley as number three, and Peter Newman, our fourth uh, member of the panel. So I've told you about David. Um, Mitchell Reese is the president of Washington College in Maryland. In his prior life as a diplomat, and if I'm not mistaken, troubleshooter, he dealt not only with the Middle East, but with Northern, Northern Ireland. Uh, it's great for a Brit like me to find someone for whom the peace process is not an exclusively Middle Eastern concept, uh, and he's also dealt with nuclear proliferation. Uh, Robert Malley needs little introduction. He runs the Middle East program at the International Crisis Group. He worked as an advisor on the Middle East to President Clinton and was part of the US team at the Camp David Peace Talks in 2000. Last and by no means least, Peter Newman runs the International Center for the Study of Radicalization and Political Violence, which is at King's College London, just across the road from me when I worked at the BBC World Service. He's currently at Georgetown University and he is, as they say, the fourth member of our panel. Gentlemen, over to you.